Hey guys, this is Kingdom Hearts 1126 here, and today we will be playing Pokemon Yellow in the Game Boy Color. So, today marks the 20th anniversary of the release of the Pokemon games, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue. I'm not sure if Pokemon Yellow came out on the same day, but um, anyway, I grew up playing Pokemon Red and Blue. I had both games. Um, you know, that wasn't really my time period, but my sister used to play Pokemon games all the time. So, you know, I would play them. But uh, I never had Pokemon Yellow. So, more on that later. Let's, let's start this. Hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. <laughs> Myself, I study Pokemon as a professional. Eh. First, what is your name? Uh, I'll put a... Uh... By the way, I'm using a gamepad. I'm not using a keyboard. There you go. When I used to play these games, I used to put weird names, like, from animes and stuff. Right, so your name is Mike. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Um, what's his name again? Let's see... Does that fit? Um... Damn, that doesn't fit. Um... I was gonna put douchebag, but that doesn't fit. Um, let's see, who's my rival? I don't really have a rival. But... I guess I'll just put Gary. That's right, I remember now. His name is Gary. Mike! Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. And then you just shrink you down. So, anyway, I grew up with Pokemon. Um. My cousin had given me Pokemon games, um, and I had had a couple of uh, Pokemon, uh, I mean, Game Boy Colors. I had a lot of Pokemon games, and then one day, we were on a trip, and I just happened to lose them all in a car, and my aunt just didn't know what happened to them, you know, it was kind of mysterious. I think my little cousin did something to them. Um, and I still don't like her for that. I know, it's kind of childish, but whatever. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Professor Oak, next door, is looking for you. So if you've ever played this game before, you know that if you go into there, nothing is going to happen. So you have to just leave. Hey, wait! Don't go out! And then he initiates. That was close! Wow, Pokemon live in tall grass. Okay. Wow, Pikachu appeared. Okay. And you know, a wild Pikachu is, would never appear near Pallet Town. Okay, Pikachu is caught. Whew. Pokemon can appear at any time in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. Gramps! I'm fed up with waiting! Hmm, Gary? Why are you here already? I said for you to come by later. 
Ah, uh, whatever. Just wait there. Look, Mike. Do you see that ball on the table? It's called a Pokeball. It holds a Pokemon inside. You may have it. Go on, take it. Hey, Gramps! What about me? Be patient, Gary. I'll give you one later. So, in Pokemon Yellow, you do not have the choice of Squirtle, Bulbasaur, or Charmander. You only have the choice of Pikachu. No way! No way, Mike! I want this Pokemon! Gary snatched a Pokemon. What a dick. Gary! What are you doing? Gramps, I want this one. But I... Ugh, all right then. That Pokemon is yours. I was going to give you one anyway. Mike, come over here. Guessing he's going to give me Pikachu, which he just caught. Mike, this is the Pokemon I caught earlier. You can have it. I caught it. In the wild, and it's not tame yet. Mike received a Pikachu. Do you want to give a nickname to Pikachu? Mm, no. Okay. Guess I fight Gary now. Meh. My Pokemon looks a lot stronger. Okay. Yeah, of course he's gonna want to fight me. Wait, Mike. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Gary wants to fight. Gary sent out Eevee. Hmm, Thundershock. Hmm, I wasn't aware that was actually a damaging move. I, I always thought it was just paralyzed. Enemy Eevee paralyzed. I mean, you know, it's okay. Kind of weird that he starts out with an Eevee, but it's whatever. Oh my gosh. Die. Thank you. So, when I was growing up, I had Pokemon Gold. Um, I didn't have Silver. I had Gold, Red, Blue. Actually, I think I had two Reds. Um, I don't want to tell with. I uh, also had Fire Red, but I never got to play that. Later on down the line, I, I got Sapphire. But yeah, my sister basically would hoard the Game Boy Advance games, so I would never get to play them. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Mike got a 175 for winning. But yeah, I never got to play the advanced ones till later. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Mike, Gramps, smell you later. And he was always a douche. Would you look at that? It's odd, but it appears that your Pikachu dislikes Pokeballs. You should just keep it with uh, keep it with you. That should make it happy. You can talk to it and see how it feels about you. So this is very similar to Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver and how your Pokemon follows you around. Okay, guess he's pretty sure these guys give you potions and stuff. Okay, guess not. I could have swore they gave you. Oh wow, that's all they have to say. Okay. I guess later. Oh. So, I guess I can just go now. I remember being able to get a map from Gary's sister, which is this girl. Hi, Mike. Gary is out at Grandpa's lab. Okay. Oh, wait, I think that's a map. It's a big map. This is useful. Okay, and of course I don't get it. A town map. Town, Viridian City. Okay. Hmm. On the road to Viridian City. Meet my friends along the way. If you know that song, you are awesome because you watched the show. A lot of Pidgey appeared. I actually want a Pidgey, but I don't think we have any Pokeballs on us. 
Nope, no Pokeballs. Super effective. Yep, there you go. Okay, 31 XP. This guy gives out free potions, I know that. I work at Pokemon Mart. It's a convenience shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. I know. I'll give you a sample. There you go. Mike got potion. Okay, there you go. Fuck is your problem? Literally. Wild Pidgey appeared. Go Pikachu! Pikachu gained 31 XP. I'm not a fan of these colors. Oh my gosh, so many wild Pokemon. I also want to ride a tub, but I don't have any Pokeballs, of course. There you go. Critical hit. Enemy ride a tub, ain't it? Pretty sure this guy gives you something. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. So, here we are in Viridian City. And we have to pick something up for Professor Oak, which is in the Poke Mart. This is the Poke Center. Funny how he just hops up on the counter like that. Okay. We hope to see you again. Okay, and the Pokemon. Pokemon. Okay, here it is. Hey, you came from Pallet Town. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Mike got Oak's parcel. Okay. Just take that to him, then we'll get Pokeballs and be on our merry way. these games, I don't know, like, ten times in the past. Because I really had nothing else to play. Okay. Then later on down the line, I got, you know, PlayStation 2 and stuff. But the Game Boy was my main console. So... Oh, Mike! How's my old Pokemon? Well, seems to like you a lot. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? Yeah, something came in the mail for you today. And it's not these nuts. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thanks, Mike. By the way, I must ask you to do something for me. Gramps! Of course, him again. Gramps, my Pokemon has grown stronger. Check it out. Ah, Gary, good timing. I needed to ask both of you to do something for me. It's gonna give us the Pokedex. On my desk there is my invention, Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech uh, encyclopedia. Mike and Gary, Take these with you. Okay. 
to make a complete guide on all of the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But, I'm too old. I can't do it. So, I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it all to me. Mike, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> See, such a douche. Pokemon around the world wait for you, Mike. Okay. It's a whole lot of talking. Wait, do these guys still not give me po potions? And of course you don't. And you? Oh, by the way, although you do not start off with Squirtle, Charmander, or Bulbasaur, you can get them later on. Um, actually, all three of them later on uh, from different places. So let's go ahead and get the town map off his sister. Okay, can you give me one? Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Here, this will help you. Mike got a town map. Thank you. I kind of feel stupid for uh, selling my Pokemon games. I sold my red, well, my two reds. I still have my blue. Uh huh. Yeah, I still have Sapphire. I got uh, Soul Silver and Black. I wish I wouldn't have sold my. Uh, oh, what's that one called? Not Diamond or. What's the other one? Diamond. Pearl and Damn, what's the other one? Hmm. Can't think of it. Pikachu grew to level seven. Okay. Wonder if I can catch a second Pikachu. If I can, I will. That'd be kinda cool. I'm not sure if I need to heal. Oh, yeah. Guessing now we can buy some Pokeballs finally. Catch a Pidgey or something. Yep, I can buy some Pokeballs. Let's get. Oh, 10? Yeah, 10's good enough. Okay. We got 10 Pokeballs, now we can go catch something. I always like to just, you know, check around. I don't think there's anything in here. Ah, I've had my coffee now, and I feel great. Sure, you can go through. I'm sorry I was so rude to you. I see you're using a Pokedex. How does he even know what that is? When... Professor Oak just invented it. Pokeball. It'd be nice if this guy gave us free Pokeballs. Huh. Okay. That's basically just to tell us that we can get Pokeballs from the Pokemon Mart. Uh, what is this? Is this the gym? Pretty nice city Pokemon gym. And uh, the gym leader is Giovanni, the head of. Team Rocket, but of course he's not here right now because he's doing Team Rocket stuff. Okay. My higher level Pokemon. Hmm, there's an item. Sure, we probably need Cut to get that. Pretty sure she gives us a move. Are you going to Viridian Forest? Be careful, it's a natural maze. Hmm, I must be thinking of somebody else. Gives us a move. You have to roam far to get new kinds of Pokemon. Look for other types outside of Viridian Forest. Okay. 
mana. Okay. 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 So I just want to make sure the te text speed is fast, so I can read faster. This is a trainer, right? Oh, it's not a trainer. Years ago, this place used to always creep me out. That's a trainer. That's not a trainer either. Caterpie. Why Caterpie? Level 4. Yeah, I'm definitely not catching it. I don't want anything below the level of 5, really. Which, most likely, it's gonna be hard to find, but. You know. But it is what it is. There's a couple items in Viridian Forest that we can get. A couple trainers to fight as well, like this guy. Yep. Hey, you have Pokemon, come on, let's battle. Bugcatcher wants to fight. Bugcatcher sent out Caterpie. Go Pikachu. You gain 79 experience points. Bug catcher sent out Caterpie. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow, I, I can't wait for a Pokemon Sun and Moon. You know, I, I have no clue really what it could be about. Some people think that, uh, Lunatone and Soul Rock will be involved because you know they're Sun and Moon Pokemon. But you know it's hard to say. Pikachu grew to level eight. Okay. That's the paralyzed move. Mm. Oh, by the way, guys, since today is Pokemon Day, if you go. If you go to Toys R Us and GameStop, you can get some free stuff. GameStop, though, you have to buy something in order to get it. If you buy any Pokemon item, you can get a poster, and I think that's it. But they also have some exclusive Pokemon items there today. Um, if you go to Toys R Us, however, from 12 to 2 p.m., you can receive a free pack of Pokemon cards, I think, and possibly... Poster? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm gonna go today and I'm gonna check it out. And, you know, possibly make a video on it. Pikachu gained 91 experience points, Pikachu grew to level 9. Okay. So, I think I'm just gonna... Oh, there's an item. Potion! There should be more items over. There's a pigeon. Ooh, level six. Nice. I don't want to kill it, so I will just use Thunder Wave. I hope for the best, because if I use Thunder Shock, um, oh no, I'm pretty sure this pigeon will be killed. That's a pretty strong pigeon. He almost killed me. Okay, let's go and use a Pokeball. Let's use another Pokeball. 
another one. Okay, and it came for you again. confused by that as a kid for some reason. <laughs> Two. Okay. Pidgey, you better get caught. If he doesn't get caught with this one. Ooh, nice. Because if he didn't get caught by that one, I would have to attack. Very docile. If attacked, it will often kick up. Oh, by the way, docile means easily controlled. And to protect itself, uh, sand, sand to protect itself, rather than fight back. Do you want to give a nickname to Pidgey? Nope. Well, I got what I wanted here. I wanted Pidgey, and now I got a Pidgey. Another Pidgey. Another level six. I don't think I need another one. All right, let's get out of Viridian Forest. I do not want to fight him. Right now, I wish I had some repels. Okay. Thunder shock again. Yeah. Ooh. I think I'll send out my other Pidgey and uh, attack it so that it can gain some experience since it's at full health. Get him, Pidgey. Okay. Wow. Bam. Pikachu gained 23 experience points. Pidgey gained 23 experience points. I wish I had uh, experience share right about now. Grass type, I guess I'll send out Pidgey. No, he's a bug type, my fault. <laughs> it's been a while, so I'm kinda confused. I always wondered why Pidgey had like that white line down the front of her face. I always thought that kinda weird. Tips. No stealing of Pokemon from other trainers. Catch only wild Pokemon. It's impossible to, to catch a trainer's Pokemon anyway, so... I'm not really sure why they would, you know, tell you not to do that. I'm just gonna try and run from this fight. Okay, hey, wait up! What's the hurry? Okay, good, he only got one Pokemon. <laughs> and it's Caterpie. Hmm, first level 10 Pokemon. Paralyzed. Okay. Hmm, some people will say Caterpie's a decent Pokemon because it can evolve into a Butterfree, but eh, it's not worth my time because it's so weak. I probably just sound like Gary right there. Got a hundred. Okay. Not sure what the currency is called. Maybe Pokey Cash or Yenny or Zenny. Let's see. I'm just wrong. Oh, come on. I 
hate the cry of Caterpie. Ew, meow. It's annoying. Okay, let's go ahead and leave here. Have you noticed the bushes on the road? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move. HMO one of many, many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Okay, let's go ahead and leave here. Okay, so I think we're now near, um... Uh, what's the name of this town? Uh... Okay, let's train so This is where Brock is. I forget what the name of the town is. Damn, what's it called? Psst. Do you know what I'm doing? No. I'm spraying Repel to keep Pokemon out of my garden. Oh, okay. Just like how in the real world you use repellent to keep away bugs. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like bug catchers, but Pewter's Jim Brock is totally into it. Okay, so this is Pewter City. Alright, well guys, since I've arrived at Pewter City, I figured I'd end the video, seeing as though it's like a half hour long. Um, thanks for watching, and... I will pump out a part two and part three or whatever if you guys actually want me to do this. Uh, if I receive enough likes or comments or whatever, uh, you know. Otherwise, I'll just you know do this for fun. Uh, but thanks for watching and happy 20th anniversary of Pokemon. Make sure you go out to Toys R Us from 12 to 2 uh, and go get some free swag and uh, pick up Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow on the 3DS Virtual Console if you would like. Or you could just be like me and get it for free on an emulator. But, you know, that's none of my business. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned.